بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate أهلا ومرحبا بكم جميعا اليوم سنتعلم درسا جديدا ألا وهو عن ضمائر الملكية ضمائر الملكية Possessive pronouns ما هي ضمائر الملكية في اللغة العربية؟ What is possessive pronouns in Arabic language? What are they? Actually, and basically, in Arabic language, we've got 12 possessive pronouns that connected at the end of the noun. At the end of a noun. All right, so we call it ضمائر الملكية and they are actually letters connected at the end of a noun, as I said, and they are like suffixes, okay, that they function as possessive pronouns. So let's get started. فلنبدأ. So what is this? ما هذا؟ هذا قلم. قلم. This is a pen. All right. I'm going to give you this example and apply it for all possessive pronouns. Okay. So this is a pen. هذا هذا قلم. I already explained about demonstrative. This هذا. Okay, هذا for for masculine singular third person. Okay, third person masculine singular. Now, when I refer this pen to me, when this pen is mine, I said ha I said هذا قلمي. This is my pen. My pen. هذا قلمي. So, what I add to the قلم, I add ye sound. Okay, and it is like, it is like uh, long vowel e, قلمي. So, it is basically long vowel with m sound. Okay, هذا قلمي. So, I am the speaker. First person singular. When when another person with me, one person, so we are do or more than one, so we are plural. We we say something like, هذا قلمنا. هذا قلمنا. So na sound at the end. Okay. So now I'm going to rock what I've just said. So, هذا قلم This is a pen. هذا قلم هذا قلم is a nominal sentence, short sentence that does not have any verb, but in Arabic it is a full sentence, a meaningful sentence. Okay, and then when I refer this pen for me, I said something like هذا. Me. So I add the suffix yes sound and it, it is sound. Me. Yes. yes sound or long vowel e sound. Okay, got it? 
So this is for first person, singular. هذا قلمنا. So هذا. Okay. قلم. Until here it is قلم. نا. You add the suffix نا. نا sound. نا sound and long vowel a. نا. So نا is a possessive pronoun for first person do all plural. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Now for second person. And the second person is the hearer, is you. You are listening to me, so you are the hearer, right? The listeners, right? Now, second person can be singular and can be dual and can be plural, okay? If I say something like, هذا, هذا قلمك. So I say, هذا قلمك. Here you are. Take it. هذا قلمك ك ك sound at the end. هذا قلمك. And when it is the here is a female. هذا قلمك ك هذا قلمك. Here you are. Take it. So this is second person singular. Second person dual. هذا قلمكما. Here you are. Take it. هذا, this is your. Here you are. Take it. هذا قلمكما for females the same thing. هذا قلمكما. Here you are. Take it. This is not my pen. This is your pen. ه. ليس قلمي قلمكما. Okay. Now for second person. And plural this time, and plural, masculine and feminine. So let me start with feminine. هذا قلم كنا هذا قلم كنا إنه ليس قلمي not my pen ليس قلمي قلم كنا here you are take it and for Masculine or for males, plural. Okay. هذا قلمكم كم هذا قلمكم. Here you are. Take it. هذا قلمكم. قلم ك هذا قلم كي. So this is for singular. Second person singular. كي sound with كسرة. كي. قلم ك. Okay. قلم كي. So so here I said هذا قلم ك. قلم كي. But when I stop, I just say, هذا قلمك. هذا قلمك. Okay. Now, هذا. قلمك. كما كما you see this letters this is possessive for dual for second person dual either feminine either feminine and masculine they share the same suffix the same possessive pronouns هذا now for plural, قلمو كم كم. This one for masculine. Okay, plural masculine. Plural masculine.
هذا قلم كنا كنا so here the noun there is شدة because the noun here it is doubled okay so all of these are second person all of these are second person all right the hearer the listener but this one for singular masculine singular feminine dual feminine and masculine plural masculine plural feminine so this is part number two let's go to part number three third person in this part i'm talking about possessive possessive pronouns for third person now this pen I'm going to say that this pen is not mine, it's not yours, but for another person, and another person called third person, al ghaib in Arabic. Hada qalamuhu, for third person, singular, male or masculine. Hada qalamuhu. His pen. Now, هذا قلمها. هذا قلمها. ها sound. You remember that. هذا قلمها. Her pen. هذا this قلمها. هذا قلمها. Now, for third person. Dual, either masculine and feminine, they share the same uh, possessive pronoun. Hada qalamuhuma, either qalamuhuma. I'll give it to them. Hada qalamuhuma, huma. Now, for third person, plural masculine. Hada qalamuhum. Okay, they share the pen. The pen is for all of them. هذا قلمهم. Now, for plural, third person plural and feminine this time, and the last, the last possessive pronoun. هذا قلمهن. هذا قلمهن. So you notice that هن. Is for plural feminine. Hun. So let me now write this on the board to make it more clear. So now third person. Hada. Kalamu. Hu. هذا قلم ها. So this is for third person singular masculine. ها sound for singular feminine. هذا قلم Huma. Now, third person, dual, either masculine and feminine. هذا قلم هما. هذا قلم هن. Or قلم هم. Let me start with masculine. Plural masculine. هذا قلم هن. With 
shed that it is devil here so these are possessive pronouns for third person singular masculine feminine dual plural masculine plural feminine hope is all clear please revise all of this and you're gonna master the arabic language هذا كل شيء شكرا لاستماعكم مع السلامه